yo yo what's up youtube we're in for another review i uh, went to air today and to leave uh true leaf i got my momenta topical on my pounds i already have enough of true leaf flower at home from work and i went to air today and i got the gary Python jealousy and this is from the flowery um, well i got this at air but on the website it said uh it was grown by the flowery so i guess they're partnered up so this is a new batch they got and they have the backpack boys and the doja brand and you know i was just curious if they had anything new and i ran across uh this gary Payton jealousy only reason why i got it is because it says it's grown by the flower and they're partnered up we're here now so that's something new uh, i will be trying like the backpack boys and all the other flower they have my grinder is filled with my gushers and I want to kind of see how this flower is, uh, just so we're not confused, you know. Just so we're not confused. And they have another uh, exotic flower on their website. It's called Iverson. And it's a cross of the runs and gushers and Durban poison. I, I want to try that too, but they're closing. I, I don't want to spend another $40 today either if I have flour at home. Because uh, I wasn't even supposed to be spending money on this other flour I got today. You know, this smells way better than, uh, well, this is a $40 eight, so. This smells a lot better than Sunburn's uh, $20 flower they have. So for the $20, you know, I can't bash them. But Air has these brands now. They have the Doja, Backpack Boys. Uh, this is the Gary Payton and uh, the Jealousy. And it, and it says it's produced by the flower on their website. And they have the Iverson. I want to try the Iverson one. It's across the Gushers, uh, Durban Poison, and there's a, a Genetics of Runs as well. I really want to try that, but, you know, I have flour from Truly at home, so I already have my Gushers at home. I wasn't even technically supposed to be buying flour, but, you know, Truly discounts our flour, of course, I'm going to be buying more, so that's why I only bought an eight from uh, air and sun foam, you know. Wasn't gonna buy more than that. I had a uh, joint today, but I got our mini, so. our mini zigzag that I picked the a cone so I can pack a nice joint. This is the, uh, what is it called? Gary Payton and Jealousy that from Air, and it, and it says it was grown by the flowery on their website. It smells good, I like it. A new bag, creamy. I know this air's flower is always like creamy. I kind of want to come back for the Iverson. The bud texture is pretty, a lot of moisture. I have gushers in my grinder. You know, I'm still more impressed with our glass containers, but these new batches are as best as they had for as long as I've been trying, you know, Ayers flour. 
that they have all these new name brand Myler bags. So while it's there, I would, uh, you know, that's the only time I would go shop with them, not, uh, you know, with the regular flower, but like when it goes on sale. It is like a, it has like a, a smell. It's like, I can't describe it, but. More like a, like a perfume aroma. I don't know why, but. I'm not, I'm not sure what this is crossed with. I gotta read about it. It's uh, Gary Payton and Jealousy. And they have the Iverson. I'm just gonna roll it. I mean, I'm gonna pack a nice cone with it. I have my grinder. It's just my Gushers is already filled with it. So I'm breaking it down just so we could see the quality difference. Cause if we use both, strains I won't be able to tell which one's better you know I mean which one's good not not what I'm saying the gushers is my favorite but you know if I mix it up with the gushers I want to be able to test the quality of this flower or get the taste of it if there was another strain you know what the key the purpose of this video you know so we gotta have a concise flower review that's why I'm not mixing them with other flowers just so I can see the difference, you know, of our flower and theirs. This is a $40 batch though, so <coughs> it's supposed to be considered decent. So I packed the mini J, perfect size. I'm gonna put this back. Put this back in my minor bag just so I know this is the flower. Just put it in my grinder. Just too much work opening it again. I mix it with the gushers. You know, I'm just gonna enjoy it anyway. That's the whole reason why I buy these flavors is to enjoy. But we need a review. You know, I usually just shop with my true fam. I didn't buy flour today from them because I already have enough gushers from them at home from our Truly fan. That's where I would normally just shop out because I enjoy our, our products more anyway. I do seem to enjoy air a lot better than Satera and Sunburn, though. But they do have some great products as well. But usually I'll just buy flour at Truly. Because we have fresh uh, deliveries. Every three days you get something new. I would rather have my company, like the company I work for, you know, and enjoy their products. That mostly that's what I do. This doesn't seem to have much of a taste as Gary Payton and Jealousy. I'm not sure if it's the paper.
It does smell good. I, it's way better than the batches that were smelling for a while. Might have to edit this video a little better, but what a... I already smoked Sunburns flour. You know, $20 flour, it wasn't, it wasn't bad for the price. Like, you know, it looked good for $20, but you know, our flour is just so much uh, better quality than most of these places. That's what I feel like. And that's where I will, you know, mostly just be buying my flour supply at. You see, it's my day off, and I'm still wearing my Truly hat that we got for 420. I don't buy any flour from us because our prices are back to normal, and I already have flour, and I'm not gonna pay full price if I have flour to last me until it goes back on sale. We had great deals for a while though, but you know, even if you pay 40 or 35 or something, you know, it still adds up over the wrong run. It's still money. So we gotta be careful there in these times when we're buying all these flavors. Trying one place, then the next, buying an eight there and then buying another one there, you know, it adds up, but you know, it's great to try all the places, but mostly I'll just be shop. I already tried all the dispensaries down here. I'll just be shopping mostly at work. I'm not sure if this is how I packed the joint, but it seems to burn a little slower, but it was only a little. <coughs> This batch, it doesn't seem to have much of a taste, but it smells really gassy, like the gassy flour that they'll tax you on. It's, it's still the premium flour they have, so don't get me wrong. That's probably gonna be one of their better flours in the Mylar bags, but unless they step it up and get harder containers, then I guess they can notice a bigger quality difference. You know, what it, the airtight, it's not, it's not smelling as loud as our Gushers, because it's in a Mylar bag, I guess, but it, it is, it is pleasant, and it was the highest one, 28% Gary Payton and the Jealousy, and they have the Iverson one, that one looks good, it's like a Durban Poison and Gushers, uh, that's the genetics of it, and it's the same flower that the Flowery has. It says it was produced by the Flowery on the bag, so I guess they partnered up in some way. But best of luck to them. There will be having more of these Mylar bags. You know, I'll be paying a visit every now and then. But, you know, I would rather just pay 40 for our glass containers, you know, because it's always fresher. The concussions and all that is always the one and all the other connected flour we have. But yeah.